one feature that I really like from Gemini is that you can conversate with AI and that you can branch to different directions. And this feature is very useful if you want to iterate or test various prompts or directions with AI. And then you could always go back to the original prompt or the previous state of the conversation. But this feature is not yet on Gemini. Instead, this branching feature is available in the Google AI Studio, which is part of Gemini. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the new branching our feature from Google Air Studio. And to use it, you have to navigate to this URL, airstudio.google.com. And after that, you have to log in with your Google account. And sometimes it might be asking you to connect with your Drive account. I think that is very much necessary to be able to enjoy this branching feature. Now, be sure that you are on the chat mode right here. And then on the right side of the screen, you can select the model that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to be using Gemini 2.5 Flash because that's the fastest model at the moment. And let me show you how you can use the branching feature with a simple example. So here, I'll ask Gemini to help me with my homework. And after that, you can click Run. Okay, just wait for AI to give you the full answer. And after that, we have to save this conversation. And one thing here that you need to know about AI Studio is that the conversation is usually not saved automatically unless if you specify that you want to save this conversation. Now, to save this conversation as a, a starting point for the branch later, you can click this button. Uh, you can change the title or the prompt name uh, it, it is called prompt name so yeah this tool is actually much for testing prompt even though you could use it for a simple or traditional conversation with ai but it is called prompt in google AI studio so i'm going to call this homework help and description is completely optional and click save so basically this conversation has been saved to the history you can click this button and now we have this prompt and we can always open it back. So if you want to branch to a different direction or different topic, but uh, from this, uh, the same starting point, then you can click this three dot icon from the AI answer and then click branch from here. And there you go. So now we are in a new branch. And as you can see, the name has changed a little. It is a branch of homework help. And let's talk about I want you to help me with my biology test. And then click run. Now it will focus on this particular topic. So from, from this point on, it is a new branch. And by the way, you can always go back to the history and you'll see that there is another branch created. And I do recommend to actually change the name a bit and it will help you organize all the things all the prompts that you have on AI studio like for example it is branch of home sorry homework help i'm going to add some label that this is for biology and then click save and if i want to create let's say i want AI to help me with my english homework then i can also go back to history and start from this from again click this more options and click branch from here and i want ai to help me with my english homework send a message and again as you can see the name has changed and i do recommend to change the name with something that is much more uh, descriptive so that's basically how we can use the branch feature on AI Studio. Again, this feature is not yet available in the consumer version of Gemini AI, but given that this is basically from the same product, the same project from Gemini, then we can uh, imagine that this could happen or this could be implemented into the uh, consumer version of Gemini very, very soon. At least that's my expectation. So that's how you can use the branching feature on Google AI Studio, and I'll see you on my next video.